Hey, I just wanted to take a few minutes and show some uh, special audio, audio editing you can do uh, if you run into a problem with a high-pitched whine. So, um, listen to this excerpt. This is a Radio Lab podcast that I heard this morning. We need lots of, a whole screen of jazz hands right now. Let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can hear the speaker. Um, as the speaker is speaking, there's like a really high-pitched whine that goes right along with their voice. Um, they've done some noise reduction, um, but so it's not really there in the silences, but when he speaks, uh, you can hear that really, really high-pitched whistle. Listen closely. We need lots of, a whole screen of jazz. To me, that's a really annoying sound. So what we need to do is we need to figure out the frequency of this sound, and we need to use that, um, that knowledge to suppress that frequency. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just take a little chunk of the speaker speaking, and I'm going to do what's called a spectral analysis. All right, so I've selected this. I'm using the selection tool here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Analyze, this menu here. And you can see that I can plot the spectrum here. All right, and now this is showing basically um, the frequencies that are strongest in this selection here. So this is probably the speak, the fundamental of the speaker's voice, right? You can see it's, um, it's the strongest. And then, you know, the, the pitches, the, the frequencies are kind of varied through here. Um, and then we have this little bump here. I'm going to guess that this bump is it. Um, and if we look at the bump, the frequencies, it'll tell us the frequencies right down here where the cursor is or where the nearest peak is. So the cursor here is, you know, in the 7500s, 8100. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just check that frequency. Okay, I'm going to guess that that's 8100. Why don't I go to a frequency generator, which is right here, online tone generator, um, and I'm going to look and I'm going to see if around 8000, 8, that that's about the same pitch. Let's listen to that whine again. We need like, we need like. Okay. Um, if I listen to that whine, I put this all the way down at 1%, the high pitches can get so loud. I'd just be really careful with these tone generators. So um, I'm going to start nice and low. I'm going to play and then that sounds like it's about the same frequency we need like in the same range so that sounds like a good candidate so let's take that um let's take that 7996 um right there in 72 to 7996 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this um I'm actually going to select the whole thing and duplicate it so we can compare it easily. So you can go here, duplicate, it's command D. So let's do that, command D. Uh, and the same thing, I'm going to actually duplicate it again. And I'm going to name this, I'm going to, I'm going to work with this with the graphic EQ. <clears throat> All right, and then this one, I'm going to do some work on it with a notch filter. All right. So let's take a look at this graphic e this um, and we're gonna uh, we're going to edit this with the graphic EQ and I'm gonna so I selected this second one here and I'm going to use this effect and it's the graphic EQ uh, and so if I flatten the graphic EQ this will this won't change a single thing and now these are the frequencies at the top so the frequencies right around 8K I just want to really really uh, suppress those so maybe a little bit around here suppress a little bit around 10k bring that down a bunch too let's listen to that and see if that sounds a little better we need lots of a whole screen of jazz hands right now let's go for it yeah <laughs> yeah so that sounds to me like that wine is pretty much gone all right we can compare it in a second here we go let's listen to the original we need lots of a whole Whew, painful wine and then listen to this one we need lots of a whole screen Pretty much gone. To, uh, whole... It's pretty much gone there. Um, and one more thing. Uh, let's try this now. I'm going to use what's called a notch filter. A notch filter is another way you can suppress a certain range of frequencies. So um, if I pick a notch filter and I put in um, roughly the frequency that's given us trouble here, um, which we decided was, you know, right in the 7900. So let's. Uh, Let's go to that notch filter. Now you can use a notch filter to get rid of a low hum or a high pitched whine. So here we're using it to get rid of that high pitched whine. So I'm going to put that right around 8,000. Okay. And 
the higher value reduces the width 1.0. Um, what I actually, I'm going to decrease. Let's listen. Actually, let's listen to that. We need lots of a whole screen of jazz hands right now. Let's go for it. Yeah. Um, that's actually, that feels like it's pretty much gone to me. So let's go ahead and apply that filter. Notch filter. Okay. So now let's listen to it. Here we go. We need lots of a whole screen of jazz. Yep. That wine is all gone. Let's listen to the original again. We need lots of a whole screen. All right. Uh, and just as a last little exercise, let's just do that spectral analysis again. Here's the original. Okay. You can see there's that, that bump right there. Now this, the graphic EQ has probably smoothed that out. Let's do the same thing. Let's look at that. You can see that it's smoothed it right out there. Okay. And then the notch filter is going to actually just kind of take a chunk out of it. So let's look at that. You can see that the notch filter similarly did that, but it actually take, took a real straight chunk right out around that 8,000. Um, so, um, and that is it. That's a way you can reduce a high-pitched whine and the way you can use filters on Audacity. It's a pretty powerful program.